Heat waited to give head coach Eric Spostra a $120 million extension until after his divorce finalized. So he was going through a severe divorce with his wife. And then he was supposed to sign the contract like months back, though. Nah, he's like, nah, man, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's wait, man. You know, we, we boys, we've been... You know, tight for a while now. You know what I'm going through, Pat. Pat, just hold that money down for me. I know you're going to rip me off, but yeah, I got to get through this divorce. You've yeah. been there too, right? Yeah. You've been there too, He's bro. There. Talk talk about coming in clutch. It's hard to oh. think about the Miami Heat and not think about and not think of Eric Spolstra. He's become synonymous with the South Beach NBA team. And the part of how he got there is classic pull up your sleeves and wear hat story. The head coach of the Miami he, Miami Heat first started out with the team in 1995 as a video coordinator and slowly but surely worked his way up the ranks until he sat at the very top and won two NBA championships. That was very good, man. Yeah, he did pretty good. He did very I like good. him as a coach, like in all, there's like a lot of different coaches out there, right? Yeah. But there are coaches that I respect them. You know why? Why? These guys take like, like the people at the bottom of the NBA right. and compete with the best of the NBA and almost win. True. Several times. True. Right now, you look at the Miami. He the biggest star they have right now is Jimmy Butler. Yeah, and then they have like a old um, Kyle Kylari, and then they have this guy from I think he's originally from Africa. Who? Uh, Adabai. Yeah. Oh, Adabai. Yeah, from Nigeria. You know, whatever, but you know, it's like these guys are not who they consider like the big names in the NBA. They're like nah. the the mid tier. But every single year, they fight for the championship. Is he there? They're in the playoffs. They're in the finals. Yeah. They're going for the championship. They haven't won it yet since LeBron left. Yeah. But respect, give respect where respect is due. Look at all those other guys, you know, those big star teams. And they ain't making it that far. Yeah, true. They go to the final twice. Even though. when the Bucks beat them, the Bucks had respect for those guys because, yeah, yeah they went to war. Yeah. It's like every time I watch their game, it's like, yeah, these guys go to war. You know, it's like I really respect their their yeah, fight so. and their energy. And it's like without anything, without anyone, no matter sickness, health, they don't complain that much. She like LeBron always complaining and yeah. crying all the time. About, Not my man, shut your ass up and go win the game. Yeah. You you ask for a star, you get star. You ask for this, you get this. No, you gotta figure it out and go and beat some people, you know. Like yeah. last time I watched LeBron play a game and I saw him dunk on them, I was like, oh yeah. Yeah. That's the kind of beast mode you, you gotta be on. That's yeah. what you gotta show these guys. Don't be talking about you're the king and being being like the bitch. Yeah, true. You can't be the king and the be the bitch at the same time, always complaining about you need better players. Miami don't have a, as much good players as you. Figure it out. Yeah, you have to. If you feel it. like, okay, they're not good, find a way to get Sposa to come back and, and coach you, man. Yeah. True. Anyway, I was talking too much. <laughs> it's cool, man. Let's read the last one. It seems <laughs> it seems like everything has been going has been going Eric Spolstra's way out of late. If you disregard the father he and his wife of seven years, Nikki Spolstra just got divorced like late last year, around November. You seen the picture of her though? Oh, let me let me look. It's at the far bottom. Oh yeah, at the bottom. Yeah. All right, hold on. Oh, yeah, she looked her. good, man. And guess what? Mm. She was in the building too. <laughs> when she was doing her dance and everything, the coach was looking. That, that, I think that's one of the reasons why. They oh, talk. she was a cheerleader? <laughs> oh, maybe that's why she got the job, man. <laughs> Yo, but the question I want to ask you, though. Imagine, she also worked from the ground floor, though. Yeah. She worked from the bottom of the bottom. <laughs> to the top and she, they, uh, were, they were married for like six years mm -hmm. and she she knows the the inner workings of the team mm -hmm. and the, she, the coach was supposed to get the contract last year 
But then the contract, like the divorce dragged on and dragged on. I think the lady I... knew. And so she was dragging it on. Mm-hmm. And once, uh, late November, December, once the divorce was finalized. He extended. And then they just gave him a $120 million co- contract extension. <laughs> How would you feel being a wife of six years and you knew very well the contract was coming? But then the team was like, oh, just wait on, just wait. And a month after the divorce, they played her like a fiddle because that's what she was waiting on. Yeah. Now you, you and, don't get and to then get it's any like, of this money. It's cool, man. She rich still, man. Because he made... Some decent money over the years, like but not with is, the one twenty. You know I how know, much I know the one twenty. She to be buying more makeup, <laughs> but most likely they're getting divorced. She gonna get another sugar daddy, man. He's look look at these girls, man. Yeah, but that's that's what they do. They just bounce from. She's bouncing from him. She's getting a guy who has more than one twenty in the bank. Just wait for it. Yeah. You're going to hear maybe one of the NBA players banging her brains out. I'll be fucked up too. You might even hear it's, it's you know, like how women can be vengeful. Yeah. You know, Tyler Hero is the rising star. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, you know how they can be vengeful intentionally yeah. just to mess with his head. That, that's true though. Yeah. You just know. to mess with his head. Oh, you don't want to give me the 120? Man, <laughs> yeah, they can that, be vengeful. Man. Yeah, it's true. Unless, yeah, it's fuck, man. And then you you still have to coach the dude, and <laughs> you, you can be vengeful. they can be very vengeful, man. She'd be like, "All right, I'm gonna show you." Okay, what if she do a pie rally next? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it can it can just go so dark, man. Yeah, it can go so dark. It can yeah, go it's so just dark. like to me, whatever, man. My, my Miami Heat is the true hero in this case, though. But Pipe I like Riley. how they protected him. Yeah, your employee, you know what he's going on. Just push the no- negotiations. We're gonna take care of you, but you need to figure out your divorce first. Because you don't want, like, blah, blah, blah. And because if, that's what they if, did. if they had rushed the contract extension and he got it and the wife to have, the coach the, the coach would have been very vengeful and then... He would he be would, depressed too. And not coach the team very well, you know. Yeah, because you'd be thinking about that, but they took care of him, so now he's going to be happier and he, his divorce is final and he can enjoy his money and enjoy his new contract and move on with his life. Yeah. The only thing that is going to happen now, just get ready for the revenge, man. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming yes. or probably he she did it already that's why they're div- they're getting the divorce okay yeah, she's she's been she's been showing her ass for decades now so yeah man that's Imagine. just that's just probably the, the the tipping of the iceberg you know how they keep things under the wrap yeah so you yeah. don't know yeah but might. i'm just happy he got his money he didn't get to suffer the the issues like a lot of the other people that we know like the boxers and those other guys and you know the drama yeah true because he's been a hard working coach I respect the guy you know he's from Philipp- the Philippines I don't know I don't yeah. really care about that he's I just the respect the guy I like his his the, the, work the, the ethic the demeanor right yeah that demeanor of him you know it's just yeah. like yeah. I think the Asian culture really helped him too he's not like flamboyant he's not he doesn't mean he don't he's not showing off uh-huh. he, he's not like exaggerating too much a is a b is b yeah. is it and if you want to go to town let's go to town i remember jimmy butler wanted to fight him one time yeah. but jimmy respect him after yeah. that it's like coach not even backing now i'm making more money than you do, do want to put me in my place you know like you know like some guys right like lebron and these guys you can't play you want to fight with them you're the I'm the you're the coach, but the players are higher than the coach. Yeah. But yeah. in Miami, it's not like that, man. You're the player. I'm the, I'm the coach. Yeah. I'm the boss. If you wanna if you wanna go toe to toe, we can go toe to toe. And the and the best thing about it is that there's guys on the bench who will go toe to toe with a coach yeah. to help him beat up whichever player that stop out of, step out of line. Because it's not like they're gonna. It's not like I think he's gonna retire there though. Like the way they treat him is like they treat him like royalty. I would want to retire there, man. Yeah, it's like you find a home, man. Yeah. Just like Jimmy Butler, I think he's gonna retire in Miami because 
Miami is the place for that nigga. <laughs> yeah. No other team. The yeah, other sure. person I think who should probably go to Miami was Giannis. Because yeah. he's one of those kind of guys. Just like win, fight, kill. Yeah. That's Miami. That's why I like. They never really had a big stars these days, but I still watch their yeah. games, man. But maybe if yeah, maybe uh, maybe he's thinking if he goes to Miami, then the opportunity for his other trash ass cousin siblings will not be. They ain't gonna make it in Miami. Nah, they're not gonna, <laughs> they're not gonna survive <laughs> there. <laughs> so you rather stay down there in the box nation? What's cool, man? Let them get paid. <laughs> yo, those guys are trash. I watch them play. I'm like, yo, those guys, man. Nepotism is the best, man. Just <laughs> yo, yo, yo. yo. But These guys again, are multi-millionaires. It's for, cool. Yo. Because of their brother name. But it's cool. At least he make some money for his family yeah, and good. his brothers. So respect to Giannis too, yeah. man. 